In this video, you're going to learn 10 behind the scenes facts about Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, such as why Daniel Radcliffe despises filming Quidditch matches, and an easter egg that calls back to the first movie of the series. Rupert Grint was infamous for corpsing, or breaking out into laughter during filming, which meant it took a lot of takes to get one good one for the movie. For example, it took 20 takes to film the short bit when Ron breaks up Ginny and Harry by sitting between them, because Rupert and Daniel kept bursting out into laughter during each take. The Half-Blood Prince was the first time we had seen a Quidditch match since the Chamber of Secrets, and Daniel Radcliffe was not happy to have to film those sequences again for Half-Blood Prince. The reason is because he said filming Quidditch matches is like sitting on a bicycle for hours without being able to put your feet down on the pedals for balance, which means certain delicate parts of his body were being crushed for several hours during filming. The casting directors looked all over the place to find the right person to play each child role in the movie, but they didn't have to look too far for the role of young Tom Riddle, because he was played by Ray Fiennes' nephew, Hero which as a side note, is an interesting bit of irony to be named Hero while portraying the boy who grows up to become the villain. A role the casting directors did have to look far and wide for was Jessie Cave, who was one of seven girls called back for a screen test out of 7,000 applicants to play Lavender Brown. When it came time to choose one of the seven girls for the part, the director had each girl improvise with Rupert Grint over a three hour period and Jessie was chosen because she had the best chemistry with Rupert. Kissing scenes look romantic to us in the audience, but for the actors, especially teenage actors, filming kissing scenes can be very awkward. Between the two girls Daniel Radcliffe had to kiss, he said it was least awkward kissing Katie Leung, who played Cho, because she was brought on board almost halfway into the film series, specifically to be Harry's love interest. On the other hand, Radcliffe said preparing to kiss Bonnie Wright, who played Ginny, was very difficult because he had to get over the fact that he had known her since she was about 10 years old. A fun easter egg you may not have noticed is when Harry and Ginny are in the Room of Requirement, you can see the harp from the first movie that was used to put Fluffy to sleep. A few of the packages designed in the Weasley's Joke Shop were created in the book by J.K. Rowling, but the rest that you see in the store were created by the movie's graphic designers. The designers came up with more than 300 names, and every single one of them had to be approved even before they could begin to design what the props would look like. Once a name and its prop design were approved, then each prop had to be copied 100 times to fill the store's shelves. In total, the Weasley's Emporium is filled with 14,000 unique packages, which took 15 people one year to design and over 50 people to help create. An interesting cameo appearance that you probably didn't know about is this guy, Ben Shepard, who hosted the Behind the Magic TV special about the Half-Blood Prince. And the reason why he was included in this scene is because his appearance was part of a segment of the TV special. It's just the nature of movie making that parts get cut even though they took a lot of work to produce. One example of this is a tattooed man that was supposed to appear in Nocturne Alley that took four makeup artists five hours to paint, which they said was the most difficult challenge they ever had over the entire film series, and sadly, he was edited out of the movie. If you consider yourself a die-hard Potter fan because you rewatched the movies dozens of times, I think you may have met your match. Your competition is the film editor for Half-Blood Prince, who saw the movie at least 300 times over a 14-month period. Even still though, let me know how many times you've seen the Harry Potter movies down in the comments below. To learn more facts about other movies on the channel, click one of the videos you see on the screen, and if you're new here, subscribe and click the bell so you can keep learning more fun facts about your favorite films.